Well, hi everybody. So I'm here today in the Norseman because there's been an update for it. So this will be update 1.0.3. We're going to go through the update real quick. There's not too much to it. But before we do, I do want to issue a correction from my tutorial on this thing. Which is that during the tutorial I had mentioned that removing the weight here from the cargo hold on the status page does not remove the weight from the plane. That is incorrect. It actually does. Uh, there's a, a bug or something like that having to do with uh, the weight menu up here in the toolbar that just doesn't display the change. So uh, if you uncheck these things, it will either remove or add the weight, depending upon what you're doing. Now as far as the update goes, I'm going to go ahead and put the change log down in the description. I'm pretty sure I have the full change log, but for whatever reason, the change log did not mention the fact that the float planes get an anchor. So now we have the status page here. There's an uh, option for the anchor, and it does hold the plane still, which is quite nice. Now the other thing that, that has changed, which you may have noticed by now, is the uh, instrument panel is much lighter than it was before. So you have a light version and a dark version now. I didn't really have a problem with the dark version, but after sitting in here for a minute with the light one, I, I gotta say I kinda like the light one. There's uh, some updates to the engine sounds. Uh, they fixed the gap in the, the tail for the float plane, so you don't, the gap for the tail wheel has uh, been fixed. There's a couple other little visual things like that. They changed the low oil temps on idle, and then they added in the the bush trip, so the Antarctic Gateway bush trip is now available to fly. I was going to go ahead and put the, at least the first leg at the end of this video, and then I rewatched uh, my recording of it and realized it was it was kind of boring, so I decided not to do that. But um, I will go ahead and put in a little bit of it, at least my landing and takeoffs, so that all of you can laugh at me. But uh, it's it's pretty fun, at least the first leg. It's it's like a twenty knot crosswind for takeoff and everything, so it's uh, it's an interesting bush trip. Uh, the scenery is kind of nice. At least the first leg of it. Again, I haven't done the whole four and a half hour thing. I do plan on doing it, but I just I haven't done it yet. I haven't had time yet. So um, that's pretty much it for this, guys. So so thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Well, here we go.